BGA shares this morning. We're watching those after the retailer slashed its full year guidance as it struggles to adapt to cost conscious consumers of shares down almost 2%. BJ's previously expected a 4 to 5% increase in comp sales for the year, but now it's anticipating only a 2% rise. Um, and as we try to get a more complete picture of the consumer right now, mm -hmm. This one's a little confusing to me, I would say, because we were just talking about, uh, you know, we've seen with Walmart that people are trading down. Adrian was just talking about off price doing a little bit better in this environment, people wanting to save money. One would think that BJ's would also be benefiting in the same measure. Yeah, bulk buying is typically one of those hedges that many consumers will tap or will lean into. What I think is one of the interesting dynamics that we've been watching with BJ's and with Costco is where they're making sure that the membership fees are something that's going to help them in this interim period sustain perhaps where there is less of a buying propensity or the lack of new members here. Now, what's interesting for this company is they're also leaning more into that digital side too. And that's what you're going to hear more from the wholesale club companies, whether it's Sam's Club, whether it's BJ's, whether it's Costco, they're trying to beef up that digital offering as well in Touchpoint, digitally enabled comparable sales growth. That was 15% year over year. And you think about where the comparable club sales, including gasoline sales, that was up by about 1.1% year over year. But just rounding this out with that membership fee, that income, that increased by about 5% year over year to $103.7 million. So, you know, even as we kind of compare these companies back and forth and figure out who has the better kind of membership fee structure or who's, you know, helping customers hedge against inflation by offering a $1.50 hot dog. Mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day, for those members really seeing the value and how much they're paying for that membership fee and the number, the cadence of visits that they are making um, for the basket of goods that they are purchasing, mm -hmm. I think that's where it gets more interesting to hear what the state of the consumer is from companies such as BJ and Costco right now. Yeah, and I was just looking through some of the analyst commentary here, and I should mention BJ's is still projecting a gain in comps for the year. It mm -hmm. didn't go too negative, and it seems that much of the community was expecting this guidance cut. Yeah. So while the shares are down, they're perhaps not down more because there was at least some expectation that this was going to happen. And an acknowledgement of investments. We heard that from Adrian Yee mm -hmm. talking about Dix specifically within that regard here. And BJ's Wholesale Club Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Bob Eddy said within this release, they're continuing to balance gross margin with investments and value in growing the size and quality of their membership with an eye towards the future as well. So we'll look to see where those investments net out.